Welcome to the Awakening Women podcast. I'm your host, Leanne Oten, and for almost a decade, I have been a transformation coach and therapist. This podcast is all about lifting the veil of consciousness and awakening to the truth. It is also about helping you to raise the bar in all areas of your life and relationships by starting with you. If you're ready to take back your personal power and reclaim your life, you have come to the right place. I'm so glad that you're here. So let's get started with today's episode. If you have left a toxic, abusive, narcissistic relationship and you're considering getting back together, reconciliation, please listen to this episode because this is exactly what I would tell you if you were sitting in front of me in a session or if you were my best friend or someone I'm really close to or just someone that I uh, am aware has been experiencing abusive, toxic relationships. Like, What would my advice be? If you were sitting across the table from me or we were in a Zoom session and you said to me, I've been listening to your podcasts and following your Instagram and everything you say is resonating with me. It's spot on. I'm not in the relationship anymore, but I'm considering going back to it. Here's what I would tell you. Get into my program and the cycle evolve. That's the first place I would say, do not even think about getting back together with someone who has shown cycles of abuse when nothing has actually changed. They're really good at hoovering and making it seem like they've changed and the love bombing and saying all the right things. But get yourself into the program and follow the process and just at least then promise me here, just in in our little chat here, that you are not going to go back to something that you ran away from without any solid signs that anything is going to be any different. And in End the Cycle, I walk you through everything from getting clarity on the cycles and the abusive behavior, which is what you need to do to really see it clearly, to building boundaries, to building your relationship with yourself, to seeing what would he actually have to do to become a changed man. I go in depth in that into the fourth phase of the program. This is to help you if you are in that place of I'm ready to leave or you've already left, but you're questioning But this specifically, I'm focusing here in this episode on you if you've left and you're wanting to consider getting back together. My program outlines everything. And in the fourth phase, I go into depth around lists and behaviors and things that he would have to do, things that you would have to do in order for there to actually be change. But you've got to look at your own limitations and what is going on inside of yourself as to why you're even considering going back into something that you left for a good reason, right? So we need to look at why you're questioning, what's going on, what are the behaviors to watch for. And if someone with these behaviors was to see the light and maybe actually change their behavior, Here's what you need to be looking for over a six to 12 month period minimum before you even consider cracking the door open them to even let them talk to you. (laughs) Never mind, get back together, but cracking the door to say, all right, so it's been six months. It's been a year. What have you done? You know what they've done. They've been doing all of the certain behaviors to actually show they're taking accountability, taking ownership, taking um, full responsibility. They're not placing any of the blame on you. Like we go into all this in depth in the course. But I see so many, I've seen this so many times. um, And there's no judgment when I've had clients that have left and then they're afraid to tell me they went back. Uh, I always say there's no shame in it because it takes women, it's said seven times before they actually leave for good. And I think there are seven micro times where women don't actually leave, but they try to or come very close, but they kind of shrink back or get talked back in or manipulated or guilted back in many, many, many times before they actually make the full exit because these men are so good at manipulating and controlling the situation. They are trying to manipulate you. They use guilt. They try to make you feel bad. They bring the kids into it. They might make it impossible for you to leave by locking access to funds, taking away your vehicle. You know, there's things that they can do that physically make it very difficult. If you have little kids you're trying to protect, you have little kids at home, can you really just pack a bag and leave them there 
with no vehicle and no money. Like I get, I get the logistics of what some of you are facing. But if you have gotten out, you are over that really hard hump, so to speak. But if you are considering going back, please ask yourself, what has really changed? How am I different? How am I going to trust myself that if things start to go back to the way they were, do I have a safety net? Do I have an exit strategy in place? Don't just go jumping back into something. If you really feel like you want to dip your toe in and, and see where things are at, have a strategy. Don't just go jump back into something blindly because they're saying all the right things and you miss them or you hate being alone or you're lonely. Please never go back to something that broke you because you're lonely or you quote unquote miss them because you probably aren't missing them. That's the first thing you're, you're not missing them. You're probably just lonely and remembering all the quote unquote good times. And you are downplaying all of the horrible, horrendous, hellish times. So that's my message for you. If you are someone in that place, I see it a lot in our Facebook groups uh, and in sometimes even in with women I'm obviously working with. So I wanted to address it here that before you even think about opening the door to discussing the possibility, do your own work first, please do your own inner work, get really clear, get your boundaries in place, know what it is that would be just complete manipulation and bullshit. I mean, I always like to say, sure, I guess anybody could change, but the chances of an abuser changing are like slim to none. So I don't want to give you false hope, but I know if you're in this place, you need to come to this conclusion on your own. And that's why I cover it in depth in the program for you so that you can come to your own clarity on your own without somebody telling you what to do. You will start to unravel everything and things will come to the surface and things will become clearer as you go through your own inner work, your own inner process. You know what to look for. You know when change is not happening because you'll know about your own inner boundaries and your own inner uh, processes that are happening as well as watching what they are doing and saying and making sure that it's aligning before you even consider. So I'm I'm saying like if you want to take the program great but if if not don't even consider talking to them until you've done your own work and until you have a really good reason to think something could actually be different or else why would you why would you put yourself back into a situation and then you got to start from ground zero all over again and leave once again so for more information to get my signature process head to lianoten.com forward slash evolve and as i said even if you aren't wanting to take the program my advice would be to you is to never ever just jump back into something when you've gotten out of it without clear evidence that it could be different this time and also asking yourself how are you different what work have you done on yourself because that's what you need to be focusing on over this next six to 12 months regardless of if you dip your toe back into that relationship or not the work is within you it's, it's strengthening yourself because you've got to ask yourself, what is so attractive about this that I'm even thinking of going back to it? That's what you've got to figure out. That's something within us when we think that we want something like that back in our lives. All right. So those are my words of advice to you. If you are, have you've left a toxic, narcissistic, abusive relationship and you're considering going back or you're wondering if you should, that is my advice to you. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of the Awakening Women podcast. If you love this show and it has served you and helped you on your journey, please take a moment right now and leave a rating and review in iTunes and Spotify. If you'd like more daily content, videos, and inspiration, come on over and join me at Awakening Women Support Official over on Instagram, where we can connect and you can continue your transformation and growth journey. And I'll see you online. Take care.